Alright guys, welcome to my video. In this video I'll be showing you how to set up your brand new NatCup server. So firstly what you want to do is navigate to control and turn off your server. And now navigate to media. And then from there we want to format the hard drive. And now you can enter in your password. Now navigate to DVD drive uh, from the media menu. Scroll down to Windows Server 2019 EN. That is the English language for this trial software. The one above is uh, in German, so if you speak German, you can select that. But we want to click this one and then set boot mode to DVD, enter in your password, and then attach DVD. So once that is done, then we want to go back to control and start up the server. So now uh, you can go to general and on the right you should see uh, a box, a square, which basically shows the screen of your server. You can click on that and that will show you, uh, bring you to your server. And now you just gotta wait for these files to load. So once that's done, as you can see, you can choose your language and your keyboard language, but uh, you can keep the same. Click next and now install now. Click the second one and press next. And then just accept the terms. And now click custom. And now you want to return back to your SCP. Navigate to media and DVD drive and now you want to scroll down to Windows Triber slash driver select that and then set boot mode to DVD and turn your password and then attach DVD now you can return back to your server load drive so now you want to go CD drive and from here you have two options, you can first try VOS CSI which uh, you can click on 2K19 AMD64 and here this driver does not always load up so there is another option so browse again CD drive and now you can go down to the last one which says uh, VOS TOR and that one you can click 2K19 AMD64 and there should be a driver that shows up so from there just click next what you want to do now is return back to your SCP and then obviously you're back onto media and click on Windows 2019 EN software again uh, and by the way this is only 180 days trial period so set boot mode to DVD enter in your password and attach DVD and now return back to your server refresh and press next alright sorry for the weird cut but I forgot to record the method for this partition port this will have some people receive multiple storage options on their server that they need to combine into one I don't have a recording for it, however I do have some screenshots which should help you through this scenario. And now you just need to wait for your Windows to install onto the server. Once that is done here you need to enter a password that will be used for accessing your server. Click the top left where it says send control delete command. It'll 
let you through and then you can enter in the password that you set up. And now that you're on your server you can go to settings but uh, as you will see if you try searching the search bar it will not work because uh, the network is not connected to the internet so just go into settings and search up device manager and then go to ethernet controllers and right click that update driver browse my computer now you want to return back to your server go to media DVD drive and click on the Windows driver driver again and then set boom mode to DVD and enter in your password and then touch DVD once that is done then you can return back to your server and now here you can click on browse scroll down to CD drive and this time you'll need to click on net KVM so click on there and navigate to 2K19 and then AMD64 click OK and next so here we will install the network drivers and in my case uh, my server connected straight away to the internet however on some servers like my new server that I had just set up it did not and I had to go into the control panel and uh, manually uh, uh, write in my IP address and the DNS so I will show you how to do that just in case your server also has the same issue so again without internet uh, the search bar won't work so you need to navigate to settings and then search control panel and from there go on to network network and sharing center and on the left side click on change adapter settings and right click on that and go down to properties and there as you can see is IPv4 double click on that and click on use the following IP address and use the following DNS server so from there return back to your SCP go to general and copy your IPv4 uh, address onto your server So once you have entered in the IP address then you can click on subnet mask which will automatically put in a set of values and then in the preferred DNS server you can use a Google DNS server address which is 8.8.8.8 .8 and then the alternative DNS server address is 8.8.4.4 .4 .4. and then for the de default gateway this is where possibly it could work straight away or you will have to do some testing and trialing and uh, the ones you can try firstly is 192.68.1.1 another one you can try if it doesn't work is 0 .0.1 and then if that doesn't work as well then you will want to copy uh, the, the first three uh, sets of values from your IP address so 89, 0 0.58, 0 0.10 and then the last value in the fourth uh, the fourth box just keep that as a one and then press OK if once you press OK you get any pop up then that means uh, it's not working it will not work you will need to try another default gateway however mine is fine so I will just cancel all of that so another thing is is when you try to download Chrome uh, you will constantly get 
pop-ups like this and it won't allow you to download Chrome so what we need to do is go to server manager local server and then go to IE enhanced security configuration and you want to click on that and turn them off and also another thing that you want to turn on is remote desktop when you do allow it and you press ok it won't uh, update straight away on the server manager which is fine because it still has enabled it'll just take a minute to just show up if you want to make sure that it has turned on then you can just go into settings and search up remote desktop and then here as you can see it is turned on another thing which you could try is if your if your server is not connected to the internet then you can turn up the antivirus and the firewalls and everything but that is the end of this guide here I'll leave everything that's relevant in the description below if you have any questions or suggestions then please let me know in the comment section below if you are stuck on anything then please let me know below as well I'm sure me or someone else in the comment section would help you out but that's it for now peace